All right, so for this video, we are gonna talk about how to create just a simple bouncing ball animation in the app Procreate. So first you have to open up the app and you are looking for the one that looks like this. Now you'll notice it looks a lot like Vectornator. Don't get them confused. Once you open them, they look ve pretty different. So I'm hopefully you'll click on the right one, but we are gonna open up Procreate. Now mine already has a couple in here and yours is gonna come with a few extras because like it, to show you what is possible. But what we are gonna do is we are gonna make one that looks like this. So let me just play this for you here. So we're just gonna make a bouncing ball, okay? Now, to do that, we need to start by actually making a new document. So we're gonna click plus and we are just gonna start with the square. All right, so it's gonna open up and you should have downloaded the um, guidelines for this by now. So you're gonna go up to the little wrench tool up here in the corner and you're gonna click add and then insert a photo. So now we have to find that photo and it's this one right here. So I've inserted it and you'll notice that it fits perfectly, yay. Okay, so then you just need to click off of the um, arrow tool up here. Okay, now Procreate is super duper awesome and there's lots of stuff that you can do with it. There's layers and whatnot, but we are just gonna look at it as an animation tool in this one, okay? So I would like for you to go up to that wrench tool again and you are then gonna click on canvas and you need to click on this one that says animation assist and we need to turn that one on. Oh. All right, so you'll notice that this thing pops up down at the bottom and that is exactly what we want. All right, I lost my little circle thingy. This little thing down here. All right, and what that does is, so each frame in our, or in our animation is actually a layer in Procreate. And that is just the way that it is, but down here it makes it a little bit easier for you to understand. Now this whole guide that we have, we actually wanna make that the background. So you're gonna click on it and you're gonna make it the background. Okay, so that means that that is gonna be in everything and we can turn that off later. But now I need to add a frame because I need to make my first um, circle, the ball, okay? So you're gonna pick a color and I'm just gonna make mine green. I'm gonna go with dark green so this will be easier. And then you need to pick something to draw with. So like a pencil's fine, suit up, pen, inking. Don't go down here into like the abstract stuff. Don't go into textures or anything. Pick something that is pretty easy peasy, okay? Over here, you can adjust the size of your brush and the opacity and all that kind of stuff. But what we are going to do first is we have to draw a circle. Now I am going to draw my circle and you'll notice it's not very good, but I'm gonna hold in place. It's gonna smooth it out. And then if I put my finger on the iPad as well, I can actually make a nice perfect circle that way. So I'm gonna make my circle, okay? And that is on its own layer. So you can see it's all by itself, okay? Now to move that to where I need it to, I'm gonna click the little arrow up in the corner and I can adjust the size, I can rotate it if I need to, but our item needs to start at the top. Okay, so the center of my circle needs to line up with right where that bar crosses with our column line. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right there. And you don't wanna go too small with your bouncing ball just because of the size of our guides. So I'm just gonna go with that and then I can click off of that arrow. All right, now here is the issue though. If I, let's say I made a copy of that, so I'm going to duplicate and I try to move it, uh-oh, I've lost the top of my circle. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to undo. Now you can click uh, this little button right here un does the undo, or you can just use two fingers and tap your screen, and that will also undo things, okay? So what I'm actually going to do with my circle is I'm going to have this circle right here be my right um, my right here circle, okay? Because that way it's all nice and full and I don't have to worry about it getting cut off. So I'm gonna duplicate this frame, okay? 
And so now this one right here is the one that I'm gonna work with. So I'm gonna move this guy up to here. And you'll notice I have like a little ghost circle behind it. And that is called an onion skin. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second here. So I'm gonna put this circle right up here where he starts. And then if I come down here and click on settings, you'll notice that my onion skins are max and I can mess with my opacity here. So that changes how ghosty my onion skin is. And I like to make it do color secondary frames. It changes, um, the colors of my frames. However, I just realized that one of the colors that it uses is green and I'm using a green circle. So maybe don't go with green, maybe go with like blue or yellow or something. Cause basically green means that it's before the frame that you're on and red means that it's after the frame that you're on. Okay. So now I'm going to come back here and I need to, oop, I'm going to click on this guy so you can see like it's changing the colors of it. So I need to duplicate this guy again. Okay, and I need to move him again. I'm gonna move him to the next circle. So he now needs to be just a little bit lower. Okay, and then, so he's a full circle now, so I can just keep duplicating him and moving. All right, duplicating and moving. Now we are officially to the point though where our circle needs to sort of change shape. Now I'm gonna go back to the other animation just to kind of show you what I'm talking about. But just as a heads up, I'm about to hit the gallery button in the upper corner. The moment I do that, I can't undo anymore. Like I can still move stuff around, but I lose all my work history, okay? So just know that that's gonna happen if you click the gallery button. So as you can see, oh, looks like I actually am one behind. I need to start changing the shape of my circle already. So like with that whole squish and squash that we talked about earlier, gravity is gonna affect our circle and it's gonna make it look a little bit more like an oval. And you can see as it gets down closer to the bottom, as it hits the ground, it squishes and then it bounces back up. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the one that I'm working on. So this circle, I need to kind of start squishing just a little bit. So I'm gonna just mess, I don't wanna mess with the whole thing, so I'm gonna go with free form. I'm gonna just mess with it this way a little bit. Not too much, cause he's still, still kind of high up. And then I am going to duplicate and move and squish and elongate. All right, so now I'm getting down closer to the bottom. So I actually need to go get a full circle again. I'm gonna duplicate that slide and you'll see I'm just gonna drag it in front of the other ones and then I'm moving him down. But now that he's hit the ground, all right, he needs to squish a little bit this way. All right, and then I'm gonna duplicate that one. And then he's gonna squish even more. And then we duplicate that one. And our last squish. Okay, so my ball has officially fallen and hit the ground. Now he needs to bounce back up. So this is actually a lot easier than you think because I'm just gonna take this slide, copy it, paste it to the other side. Take this slide, oop, this frame, copy it, move it over here. This frame, oop, duplicate, move. This frame, duplicate, oop, move, come on buddy, move. All right, so as you can see, I'm just kind of moving and I haven't done all of them yet, but he's now bouncing a little bit more smoothly. So I stopped there. So now I need to go to this guy, I believe. And I need to move him here. And 
this guy. Move him over here. Move. Come on. There we go. And last but not least. Now, because these are going to be two frames that are the same at like the beginning at the end, it's going to make my ball look like it's kind of hovering for like a split second and coming down. And that's just to help with the whole indication of gravity going on. So if we play this now, my ball is now bouncing. Okay. Now, if you want, you can add another frame kind of at the end here. So if you want to duplicate and then move and have it look like it's going up just a little bit higher, that's fine too. So we'll see what happens there. That's up to you. All right, so now we have to finish this off. We've got the balls in place, but we need to get rid of the background and we need to fill them because right now they're just empty circles. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna go find this layer, the one that has our guide on it. And you're just gonna click the little check mark because that's gonna make it go bye-bye, okay? And then you just click up here on this circle that is, Hold on, my little, this circle up here, you're gonna click on it and hold, and what, oop. And what that's gonna do, I have to get to my proper frame here first. I'm on the right frame, yep, okay, just make sure. I'm gonna click on it and drag it into that circle. Then I'm gonna go to the next one, click, drag. And you're just gonna do it for every single circle. Now, if you want it to be super duper fancy and go through and put in like some shading and whatnot, feel free. But since this is our first animation in Procreate, I am not gonna make you do that. We are not gonna be that hardcore. We are just making a silly bouncing ball that's just going up and down and up and down, okay? So there, oh, one more. And now we play. And I've got a nice little bouncing ball. Now I need to export this. So I'm gonna go back up to that wrench tool up here and I'm gonna click share, okay? Now we want to share layers. There's a couple different options here. And depending on what you want, you can do different, different ones of the options. Don't do PDF, we don't want PDF. So animated GIF, PNG, or MP4, and I will show you what those look like. All right, so I just saved that as an MP4, so we're gonna go check it out in the videos. So here it is. It's a very short video because it's not looping, okay? So then if we go back, uh, we'll see what an animated PNG looks like. Export. All right, so it's gonna wanna save it as an image and that won't work, okay? So I'll show you what that looks like though. So you can see it, it, it didn't do anything, okay? Um, the one that you are probably gonna want for your bouncing little ball here is the animated GIF. And we are gonna click export. We're gonna save that. Let's see if that does that. So now this one loops for us. And I have my nice little bouncing ball. <laughs> 